A Long Island Trauma Center is now in danger of running out of cash to pay its staff. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan reports now that community leaders are demanding overhaul and oversight to save Nassau University Medical Center. A uh, cornerstone to this community. 73-year-old Will Foskey Bay and his family depend on Nassau University Medical Center for their health care. Serves so, uh, such a big purpose for helping so many people that's underserved. This safety net hospital in imminent fiscal danger of insolvency serves the uninsured, underinsured, or on Medicaid. He was born here. Four-year-old Jaden Sylvan of Hempstead has special needs. What would it mean to you if this hospital were to close down? Oh, no. But alarm are sounding. Critics claiming cronyism caused the fiscal mismanagement. It's time that we have County Executive Blakeman call for the termination of Matthew Bruderman. And I am a smart and powerful guy. We were there two years ago when Bruderman was appointed new health chair, pledging he would turn the medical center around in six months. Within weeks, it won't have enough money to pay its staff. The county will be on the hook, and therefore the taxpayers will be on the hook mm -hmm. for the debt um, that that is looming. The state health commissioner sent a terse letter saying funding is available if the county agrees to oversight, transparency, and accountability. The executive calls this political games. If the state wants to take over the hospital, I'm willing to enter into negotiations. Community leaders say Nassau, the state, and local health care systems should convene and collaborate to develop a plan rather than fighting and name calling. The Pellegrinis just want a place to continue to help their six-year-old. We saw the oral surgery department today. This one hurts, but it's not that hurting anymore. From East Meadow, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS2 News.